So we're at another overwintered hive. Last Tuesday we went in it. It's Sunday now, so uh, five days ago. Um, and this one was a weak one. Uh, not a lot of bees. The brood that was in there was mostly drone brood. Um, so I thought maybe I had laying workers or a, a, a worn out queen. Um, so we pushed it all down. We have a brood in the center, pushed it all down to one. We're treating it kind of like a new package, basically. Uh, and as we were doing that, we found uh, our queen, but she was small and she was running around on the frames. So she may be kaput, or she, they may have uh, requeened, and she could be a virgin queen. It's just not, uh, not laying yet. So we're going to take a look at it and, uh, and see what we see now. Uh, and I can't put a queen in yet until I decide what I'm doing, and I don't want to put a caged queen in if it is laying workers. Uh, but with that queen in there, uh, I think something else is going on. So we're going to take a look and see what's going on. I didn't feed it. There's a ton of honey on the outside frames. Um, so I will decide when, when what I'm gonna do in the, uh, in the next few days or next week or so. Let's chill the brood uh, sometime in the winter, but that's all dead brood. Not a lot of it. just not a lot of bees in here. And this might be going down as a loss. So, there is brood emerging. See that one? That's live brood. There's also some, some dead brood here. Uh, looks like larva in here, but doesn't look the healthiest. Um, yeah, I'm not seeing, uh, there's one egg. Uh, so I think this is gonna need requeening if it's even worth it. I try to preach practicality over sentimentality and sometimes it's easier to start off new see all a lot of drone brew just not a healthy looking hive look at that that's deformed wing beat up uh, so this might be one we're gonna let go now in the past beekeepers <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but a, a very frugal lot. So, they don't like letting anything uh, go to waste. And so, a lot of times they would just add a package to this or add this to another hive because they didn't want to lose a few thousand bees. But, uh, we just listened to Dr. Judy Chen speak and she found that in, um, I'm just trying to see if I can find that queen while I'm talking. Um, she found that viruses like deformed wing virus are in a lot of bees and a lot of colonies, but if it's a strong, healthy colony, it doesn't present. Um, so, just like, uh, you know, staff or something, and that's, it only happens when the, the colony becomes weak or uh, it's immune, uh, has immunity issues uh, because of varroa mites or something like that. So. Um, so she found or teaches that uh, it's better off just to let this go. Let the there's the queen. See how small she is? Uh, not very big. Um, so I'm gonna leave it alone. But so anyway, it's not really a great idea to add bees that are probably already stricken with uh, with deform wing virus and it might actually be presenting you're actually doing more harm than good and it's better off just to to let this one go uh, let those viruses get out of the hive because they don't live without a host for very long and then and then start
start from scratch. So I'm going to see what happens, but I'm not going to invest invest a lot of uh, a lot of time and resources into this until I uh, I see if that that queen is going to come around and and uh, if that's a virgin just getting ready to to start laying. But uh, I think it's a uh, I think it's an old queen, and there's just not enough bees in here to keep brood warm. So I'd rather let this go. Let one of my other hives, woman hives, uh, become strong and healthy, and uh, then I can do a nice clean split from that and start over. And I end up better in the long run than trying to uh, to invest time and resources into this and possibly spread uh, the viruses that we're we're all learning a lot about right now. So uh, that's what's going on with that right now. Um, I'm probably going to stick a pail feeder on this, uh, just because the, the little bit of sugar water won't hurt me and I'll check again in a week and we'll see what's what's going on.